This is the 3 amp stepping motor driver that we sell on Build Your CNC. Stepper motors require a device like this to actually function. Stepper motors will not function without a driver. These drivers provide control and power to stepping motors, also called stepper motors. We also sell these drivers as a 6.0 amp driver and the 2.5 amp version which we manufacture here at Build Your CNC. The driver has terminals for the digital operation side of controlling the driver and the motor output side to provide power and function to the motor. The first two terminals on the motor output side provide power from a power source like a power supply. The range of voltage you can apply to these terminals is 24 volts to 40 volts. The A plus, A minus, B plus, B minus is connected to the motor coils. And generally stepping motors have two coils. A plus, A minus would be on one coil and B plus, B minus would be on another coil. On the other bank of terminals, there is rest minus, rest plus, CW minus, CW plus, CP minus, and CP plus. The rest terminals are the enable terminals. We generally don't connect these, but they're available if you need them. The CW minus and CW plus, those are the direction terminals. And the CP minus and CP plus are the pulse terminals. The CW minus and CW plus will receive either a high or low digital level voltage to control the direction that the motor will spin. And the CP minus and CP plus will receive a pulse train or a set of pulses to actually spin the motor in that direction. For every pulse this receives, the motor will turn one step. Between the two banks of terminals is a dip switch that contains eight switches, one being here and eight being over here, so one through eight. And they correspond to the table located on top of the driver. And there are three settings for the steps and there are three settings for the current. The step settings set how many times the motor will step for each full step. So if you set it for one, 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 which would be up, 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 that would be the setting for full step. And if the motor has, say, 200 steps per revolution, it would achieve a full revolution on 200 pulses received at this terminal. If you were to set it at zero, one, one, set like this, zero, one, one, then you'd have a half step, which means that there will be a double number of steps to achieve full rotation. If the motor was 200 steps, then you'd have to send 400 pulses to the CP minus and CP plus terminal to achieve a full rotation. The steps go from one full step all the way to 1 64ths, or 64 steps per full step. So on a motor that has 200 steps per revolution, you would need to send 12,800 pulses to the pulse terminals to achieve a full rotation. The next table relating to the switches M5, 6, and 7 correspond to the amount of current that the driver will allow drawn to the motor. The available current range is from 0.9 amps to 3 amps. Dip switches M4, number 4 here, and number 8 are not used. So that was our general introduction to the 3.0 amp driver that we sell at Build Your CNC. Thank you for watching.